Okay, hi Bronco hier mit dem Thema Playstation 3 Spiele auf dem Steam Deck spielen. Also ich sag das ja immer wieder und ich bin der Meinung, das Steam Deck ist somit die beste Retro-Konsole, die man eigentlich so haben kann. Also vor allem als Handheld so. Ne? Du kannst das Ding überall mitnehmen und das ist wirklich, also es macht einfach Spaß. Und ähm, ja, was kann es Besseres geben, als seine PlayStation 3 Spiele ähm, auf dem Steam Deck zu spielen? Was man dafür braucht, ist ähm, ein Emulator. Und ja, am besten ist das natürlich, wenn man seine eigenen Sicherheitskopien erstellt. Okay, ich habe ein cooles Video gefunden. Und zwar möchte ich euch das mal zeigen. Ja, und zwar ist das hier. Um, ich hoffe, man kann das sehen und ja, lasst uns kurz mal hier reingucken. Achso, ich muss dazu sagen, ich packe wieder einen Link in die Videobeschreibung. Ja, also wenn ihr das Video so sehen wollt, ja, braucht ihr bloß den Link in der Videobeschreibung anklicken und lasst uns mal das Video hier angucken. Later Setup Guide. I hope this will be the only guide that you need to play PS3 games on the Steam Deck. Vor allem das Coole ist halt so, es gibt, es gibt ja auch viele, ne? So um, Little Big Planet gibt es, PlayStation 3 Spiel, ähm, God of War und sowas alles. Ähm, also es gibt schon gute PlayStation 3 Spiele. Ich glaube, es gibt sogar als PlayStation 3 Spiel The Last of Us. Ja, also damit kann man ja gar nichts verkehrt machen. So, I have broken it into several chapters, as shown on the screen. You can easily skip to the section that you are interested in. <coughs> the PS3 emulation is working really well on the Steam Deck, but I still recommend you to check out the emulator game compatibility lists before you start. Guck, da steht sogar Demon Souls. Here is the emulator spielen. compatibility website. I already have this website linked under my video description. Now let's dive into the tutorial. The Emu Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover the Emu Deck PlayStation 3 emulation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. Ja. From desktop Guck, das erste, was man machen muss, <coughs> auf dem Steam Deck, also in den Desktop Modus gehen. Und use your Firefox Internet Browser. Und dann Firefox the anmachen. Deck official website. I have the Emu Deck ja. linked in my video description. From this website. Ich muss dazu sagen, also, also Emu Deck habe ich bei mir auf dem Steam Deck auch mit drauf. Und wenn ihr euch das runterladet, also Emu Deck, dann habt ihr gleich 20 verschiedene Emulatoren drauf. Und also besser geht es eigentlich nicht. Download the Emu Deck installation. <lacht> Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the Emu Deck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double click on the Emu Deck installer from the desktop. Click continue on this pop-up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more options to set up the Emu Deck. Then click continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games, even with even ja. Guck, er sagt das auch. Also er empfiehlt, dass man so eine, ähm, ja, so eine Micro SD Karte verwendet. Warum? Ja, also auf dem Steam Deck hat man genug Speicher und sowas drauf, aber es ist einfach besser, wenn man im Steam Deck so ein Dings drauf hat. Dann kriegt ihr das alles besser geordnet mit den Spielen und es gibt große SD-Karten, ja, so eine 500er und sowas. Ich bin der Amazon Prime Kunde und ähm, ich kann euch nur empfehlen, Leute, guckt euch mal auf Amazon um, da findet ihr eigentlich alles so, was ihr braucht. Die Karte, it works perfect with Emu Decks. So, we will pick SD-Card as storage here. On this page, obviously, we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently Guck, und das sind, das sind hier alle e Emulatoren so, die, also für, also die auf dem Emu Deck so drauf sind. Ja, also das kann man ja alles haben so. PlayStation 1, äh, Nintendo Switch, eigentlich alles so, was das Herz begehrt. I will disable all the emulators, <coughs> except the PlayStation 3 emulator, which is called RPCS3. Since I only cover PlayStation 3 emulation in this video, but you can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. I will leave everything on for this page since Emuldeck has already done all the configurations, so we can take advantage of this. 
The auto save feature is not available for PlayStation Emulator, so I will turn this off here. I a retro achievement so just click skip here on the next couple pages you can pick any options you like it's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game i would like to set up my 3d games at 16 by 9 screen ratio and keep the 2d games at 4 by 3 you can pick any emulation station station same here i personally like the rb simple style then click next. On this page, I don't want to install any homebrew, so I will just select no here. The email deck now start processing all the installation. Ja. It will take a Und das ist, also das Emu deck installieren, also auf dem Steam Deck, ist sehr einfach. Also das ist nicht schwer. Ähm, ne, guck, installiert eigentlich von alleine. Du brauchst halt bloß auswählen, was du haben möchtest. Ähm, es, ne, also kommt halt auf den eigenen Geschmack an, was man hiervon haben möchte und der installiert das einfach und dann geht los. Two minutes to complete everything here. <lacht> After everything's done, we can click exit. Now we have completed the email deck installation on the Steam Deck. The original email deck installer is now changed to email deck access icon on the desktop. That's all for the email deck installation. <lacht> We need to install the BIOS first. Let's open the Firefox on your Steam Deck desktop mode and head to the PlayStation 3 software update website. I already have it linked under my video description. So from this website, we need to download the PS3 4.89 update firmware. Make sure you click allow download when the Steam OS says potential security risk. After the download is finished, we should be able to see the firmware file inside the download folder. Now we need to go to the start menu and type RPCS3 in the search bar. You will find the PS3 emulator. <coughs> then click and run it. Once it is opened, just go to the file on the top menu and select install firmware. Then select the firmware that we have previously downloaded. The firmware installation now start. It will take about 2 minutes to finish. We can now close the PS3 emulator and delete the firmware file that we just downloaded. There is no need to keep this file. That's all for how to install the BIOS file. Now it's time to install some PlayStation 3 games into our Steam Deck. In this chapter, I will only show how to install the ISO and PSN type games. In the next chapter, I will cover the PKG type game installation. I have all my PS3 games stored on this external SSD. Just a friendly reminder that the Steam Deck SD card cannot be read by a Windows PC or Mac. So the easiest solution is to download everything you need from your Windows PC or Mac, then transfer onto Steam Deck SD card. Before we go into the actual game installation on the Steam Deck, I would like to show how to prepare the game files on your Windows PC or Mac. Here is my Windows PC screen. Guck, er hat da schon alles drauf hin. Demon's Soul, God of War Collection, Skate 3. And this is what I currently have. Ich würde es auch jedem empfehlen, dass wenn man ähm, also Sicherheitskopien und sowas auf sein Steam Deck laden möchte, am besten ihr macht das von eurem PC halt auf das Steam Deck. Das ist am einfachsten. External SSD hard drive. Let's start with the ISO file first. First, we need to create a new folder and name it same as the game name. So our name as Skate 3 here. <lacht> Then double click and open the ISO file and copy everything inside of the ISO file. Then paste everything into the new game folder we just created. After the copying process is done, we can go back and delete the ISO file. This ISO file is not required anymore. At this point, the ISO is ready to use for our Steam Deck. Now let's look at the PSN type games. Those <coughs> games most time will come with one folder, which contains three subfolders like those ones shown on the screen. 
We don't have to do anything for the PSN type games. They are always ready to use. So the PSN format game is the easiest one to use. We have the ISO and PSN game files ready to use on the Steam Deck now. Let's plug the external SSD into the Steam Deck now. We simply need to copy those two game folders from the external SSD and paste into our Steam Deck SD card location and show on the screen. So please make sure the game folders are pasted into this location on your SD card. The copying process will take a while. After it is done, we can now close this window. The last step we need to do is to bring the PS3 games that we just installed into the Steam OS interface. So every time we boot up the Steam Deck, the PS3 games will show up in our Steam OS library. To do this, we need to click the Emu Deck icon on the desktop and then click To and Stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. Click Yes for this pop up window. First, disable the parsers, otherwise, the Emu Deck will scan all the game rooms. I recommend only to enable the emulators that you are going to use and disable the rest of them. Since we only deal with PlayStation 3 emulations in this video, I will only enable two PS3 ROM formats here. The first one is the extracted ISO or PSN format. The second one is the PKG format. Make sure you have both enabled here. Then we need to click on the preview button from the top left corner. Then click generate app list from the bottom of the screen. Now we should be able to see those two PS3 games that we have been copied into the Steam Deck SD card show up here. We can also change the game album picture from here. For now, we can just click Save App List button. This will create the game title on our Steam OS interface. Now we can just close Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck gaming mode. After we get into the Steam Deck gaming mode, just go to the library. We will see there are two new tabs show up. One is called Collection. Under this tab, it will classify emulation games by the emulation system. The other Guck, der hat schon alles drauf hier so, ne? Mit dem Emulator und mit den Spielen und so was alles. It's called No Steam Game. Under this tab, <coughs> also eigentlich das, was man braucht so, ne? That have been installed on the Steam Deck. Now we can start God of War game from here. Yeah. It will take a while to process the game room mm -hmm. if this is the first time put into the game. The best feature of the Emu Deck, in my opinion, is that it allows us to access all the emulation games from Steam OS interface directly. This is just so convenient. That's all we need to do to play ISO or PSN format games on the Steam Deck. <laughs> I will show you how to install PKG format PS3 game here. Again, I have the PKG games stored on my external SSD. When we install the PKG games, the wrap file is required. So make sure you have both PKG and wrap files ready. Each game should have its own wrap file. Let's go to the start menu and type RPCS3 in the search bar. Click and open the PS3 emulator. From top menu of the emulator, click File, then select Install Package. Before you start the PKG installation, I would like to remind you that make sure Steam Deck has 50% battery life at least, always power supply. The PKG file installation will take a while to finish. The Diamond Soul game I used to install here is about 8GB and it took about 45 minutes to install this game onto the Steam Deck. Then we can click Open. Click Yes to process the game installation. We can delete the PKG file after the installation. There is no need to keep the PKG file on the Steam Deck SD card too. After the installation is complete, we can check two boxes here and click OK. Then we need to install the wrap file. So go to the file on the top menu again and select Install Packages. Pick the wrap file and install it. That's all for the PKG game installation, but for the Demon Soul game here, 
we need to change one setting in order to run this game correctly. This setting is only for the Demon Soul games. Right click on the game title and select create custom configuration and select GPU. Make sure we check the box in front of the right color buffers. Make sure you click apply after the PKG game is installed. Now we need to add the game into the Steam OS interface. This process will be exact same as I show in chapter 3. So I am not going to explain again step by step here. But I will show the process as two times speed here. Guck und der Dark Souls drauf. Here you go guys. Ich meine, äh, Demon Souls. Demon Souls is running perfectly for ja. on Steam Deck. Sehr geil. <lacht> yes. That's all for the PS3 emulation. Ja. If you have any Also, wie gesagt, ich packe einen Link in die Videobeschreibung. Ähm, sehr cool, dass man auf dem Steam Deck mh, PlayStation 3 und sowas alles spielen kann und man kann auch noch andere Emulatoren spielen und so. Es kommt halt drauf an, ähm, was man spielen möchte, also ob das jetzt Nintendo ist oder ob das Xbox ist oder solche Sachen. Ja, also das muss ja jeder selber wissen, was er machen möchte. Aber es ist cool, dass das Steam Deck PlayStation 3 Spiele und so spielen kann. Ähm, ich hoffe, das Video hat den einen oder anderen geholfen. Ähm, ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen und ich hoffe, ihr seid beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei.